into this video i've got an exciting announcement i'm gonna try and make a song for you guys just some random song and if you are if you want me to do that i'm still going to be working on it but if you guys really really want it i'll spend a bit more time on it so i won't be posting as much all you have to do is let me know down in the comment section see you guys and enjoy the video hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here and today we are going across this bridge. Oh, there's something here. Oh, we found a genius wing. Um, these are our Pokemon at the moment. As you can see, Diggs did evolve and we got Fists leading the way. If we quickly go on our bike and go across this bridge. And we are heading into Driftwell City. Okay, different music. Nice looking bridge here. What's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, my rival definitely just beating up completely. Really. Okay, so I'm guessing I've got to go to the home. Oh, this looks quite quite a nice little city. They said hill. This is a hill. I'm guessing. So. Oh, but there he is. Yeah, sure. I don't mind having a battle. Okay, we got Herdia. We send out fists. So this would be a nice, easy win for us. Oh, we got half health on Herdia. Level 31 with fists. Sweet bat definitely got to switch over to wave for that. Uh, we'll start off with a razor shell, but used impression, so we can't so we can't use any moves that he uh, that sweet bat can use, and. He uses Air Cutter, does a bit of damage, and that is the end of this battle. Level 32. So let's go into this house then. Hopefully this will be a great episode. Oh, he's getting angry. Okay, he's going to the gym then, I'm guessing. Yeah, sure, I'll take care of this Sora. Okay, so it looks like we got a new team member, Sora. Fury swipes, faint attack, and scary face. What I'm going to do on it is put an XP share on it. Uh, where's my XP share? 
there it is. And we're gonna go and head into the gym now. We'll just quickly heal up our Pokemon. And we'll hit, head straight into the gym. Let's go straight to the gym. I like how every episode now we're just gymming it all. Ooh, this music. Ooh. Okay. Or go against this person then. He's a balati. So I'm pretty sure it's a rock type. And that is a very powerful balati, level 31. Oh, it's not very effective. Uh, bone rush? Any damage? Oh, it's got a levitate, I didn't realise. So it looks like I'm gonna screech. And we'll hit it with a force palm. Zora gained a boosted. Just want to get that Zora up. If we quickly heal up our po our um our fists. There we go. Okay. Go across here. Guessing I've got a battle this trainer then. Three Pokemon and starts off with a Drillba. And we send out Fists. I'm going to hit it with a Rock Smash. Dealing lots of damage, and one more, hopefully, will kill it. It's attack rose, and so did his accuracy. But we finish off the job. Zora is now level 26. Bellotti again. Okay. I'm going to hit a Screech. Gonna use a power trick. Switched its attack and defense, okay. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Looks like it's a bad thing. Yes, level 32. We'll bring out Wave now. Oh, it's got Intimidate on us, but we have got a Water Pulse. So that, that's a special attacking move, so... And we kill the Sand Isle. Zoro is now level 27. Okay, let's go underneath. Uh, this way. I can't go into there. This way. And this way. And down here. And one more. Across this way. Across this way. And across this way. Ah. Ah. 
So we got to go up against this trainer. Worker Neil is going to send out another Bellotti. But it's going to be easy for fists. Uh, no, I don't know why I took out fists. Uh, just going to have to fight with fists. We use a screech and its defense sharply fell and they used extraordinary. And it was a false palm. Almost kills self destruct. So it killed itself. We barely took any damage, which is good. Yes, I do would like to switch to wave. So we need to change them over, really. This one's got Intimidate as well. Uh, we'll use Water Pulse. And the Sand Isle is dead. Zora is now level 28. So this is all good for us. Zora climbing up the levels. Down here, maybe? Ooh, oh, I've already been there. Maybe one more across? Uh, into this corner? Okay. Okay. Don't go that way, then. This way? Okay, we might be getting onto something here. Go across here onto here. Okay, underneath. is a new bit so oh down here here we are then wave going up first let's heal fists with a super potion I'm guessing because that's all I've got let's get into this battle then Let's go. And we got clay. Croc Rock first. At uh, level 31, very high. Starts off us with an intimidate, which is a bit annoying. But we start off with water pulse. But it hits us with a torment. We kill Croc Rock in one move. Okay, a Sand Slash will keep going. Ah, oh. here with a Razor Shell. Use this Crunch Claw. It brings our defense down, but we then use Razor Shell, bringing his defense down as well. So then we hit it with a water pulse, but then it hits us with a crunch claw first, nearly killing us, and we will have to heal after this turn. But we do get sand slash down. We got level 33 Aqua Jet, which is a priority move, which is quite nice, and we'll take it instead of revenge. Sora is now level 29 and it wants to learn Foul Play, which is a really good move, and we'll do it instead of Taunts. Learns Foul Play. Now we got the last Pokemon, and Fists go is going out.
Okay, let's hit it with a screech. Hits us with Metal Claw, but barely does any damage. And we're here with a Force Palm, but it hits us with a Bulldozer, which is super effective, and wipes us out. Bring out Wave, which is, who is on very low health, who maybe might be able to quickly get Aqua Jet in. Who kills it in one shot. And there we go. Zora's now level 30. And now level 31. Not, not again. We've got another gym badge and another evolution. That's three episodes in a row. This is going mental for us right now. There it is. Zorok. Oh, yes. The gym badge. Yes, the quake badge. Bulldoze, and we're going to teach that to Diggs. Up we go then. So what we're going to do is go into our bag. Um, go over to here. And give Bulldoze to Diggs. Um, instead of Slash. So we can use Strength instead. And we'll also to put Zorark here. And also we'll put Fists down here. So when we battle someone, it'll come out as fists. Yep. Okay, we're, I guess... Oh yeah, we're going down to the Pokemon World Tournament. I'm going to heal up first. Here we go. I'd like to rest. I'm guessing we're going down to the post for um, the last bit of the episode. South of town, he said, so here we are. What well, looks pretty cool. I'm going in it with my bike. Let's go. Oh, it's Charon. He's gonna go and we'll all register then. Let's go. Participate the drift well. Um enter digs and then fists. We got our. Uh, I gotta go up against our rival. Uh, 
Let's get into it. Ooh. The music. Savine starting it off. Level 25. Got level 31 fists, but is it? It's gonna plot a elite seed down. Ah. Then gonna hit it with a foul play. Almost killing it. But then we do get hurt really badly. Ah. And you can't even hear either. So we're gonna hit it with a faint attack to finish the Savine off. But we do not get any XP and we've got Simisir now. Uh, we'll hit this with a faint attack. Not doing much damage and flame burst, it finishes us off. We'll send out digs. We'll hit bulldoze. Oh, if it hits us with a flame burst first and that is super effective. But so is bulldoze and Simiseer is down. And sends out Tranquil, which is not great for us. Let's see if we can pull off a horn drill. And we can, that's a one hit KO move. With 30 accuracy. So. And we won. That's, yeah, let's see. So, so I won. Then Naomi versus Cheron. Cheron goes through. Guess what? We're playing Cheron then. Chloe goes through. Uh, oh, I remember uh, Chorus. I think we battled him at Route 4. And now we've got Cheron. We're battling him again. Let's go. Oh, the gym battle theme's on. Sends out Scoutland. We're going to start off with fists. Here with a faint attack. Do not much damage. Let's see what foul play actually does. So, check moves, foul play. The user turns the target's power against it. The higher the target's... Ah! And it's just boosted its attack damage. So, we're hit with a foul play. It kills it. Scoutland down. Sends out Chinchino. And we use faint attack. Nearly killing it. And one more faint attack will finish the Chinchino off. Chinchino down. We're sweeping through his team, but now it's a watch hog. We hit it with a faint attack. Just kept using work up. And that is the end of Cheron. Wow. We won. Okay. Looks like we got the final now. I wonder who we're playing. Okay. 
So it looks like we're going against Colrus again. Let's go. Let's get ready. Okay. Final round. Let's get into it. Ooh. Ooh, I like the music. Oh, I like the lights. Oh, no, we're not in a great place to go against a magneton. A switch. So we are paralysed. See, let's see if we can hit a force palm. It does hit us with a supersonic as well. So we are paralysed and confused. But I am paralysed. Confused and I hurt myself in confusion. It's another thunder shock. Snapped out confusion, and we use a false palm, doing mega damage and winning that. LGM. I think we're so low on health now. It's good. Let's see if we can just get this out of the way. Side beam, killing us eventually. But we're going to send out Zorark, and it's just normal form. And we're going to use faint attack, as this will be super effective. Okay, now I've just got clinks, which I will switch out to digs for. And now we're going to use Bulldoze. And Clinks is down. It looks like we're the winner. Hey, we won! That was quite easy actually. We kind of swept through the teams. We were higher levels. Oh, one battle point. Cool. Okay. Oh, Roxy. Okay. This is good. I'm impressed. It's quite a cool arena. Uh, guys, that'll be the end of this episode. You guys know what to do. Subscribe, leave a like on this video, and you'll have incredible luck for the rest of your life. See ya.